What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang's Away YouTube video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help me get to a thousand subscribers. I'm trying to grind, trying to get these YouTube videos out. Uh, and today's YouTube video is actually something a little bit different to what I've been doing recently. So today's video is showing you guys how to set your playbook and how to set your plays and making them stick, making them actually be there for you when you need to use them. Because this year it's a little bit funny. There's a little few funny buggers happening. If, uh, if, if you don't run plays yet, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm about to show you. So the way that you set your playbook is you go over here to your coaching. Uh, you obviously, you can change your coach. You can go change playbook or you can go coach game plan. So change playbook is how you choose the playbook you want to run. For me, it's the Knicks. For you, it might be the 01 Lakers playbook. Uh, it might be the 94 Rockets playbook. So there's just a heap of playbooks that you can use. All have cool plays, all have different stuff, all have different actions, all have different things that you can use to take advantage of the players that you have, depending on what squad you're running as well. Um, so for me, I like the Knicks playbook, so we're going to stick with the Knicks playbook. Uh, but the way that you actually set your plays within the playbook, because there's certain plays in each playbook that you might, you know, you might like, you might not like. For me, it's the Knicks. Um, you go over here, so you click into here, you go play selection, and it takes you over to the right hand side here under favorite plays, as you can see here where my cursor is. And then right next to that is all plays. But say I like having quick isolation because I like to break it down. If I know I've got a mismatch, I like having an isolation. So I'm going to leave that one. But say I don't like quick post up. Okay, say I like um, quick piston snap because that is one that I like. So say I like that and I want it to be one of my favorite plays. Push eight, put it in there. Don't like cut to the basket. I'll put in quick nicks or quick nicks too. Quick nicks. Um, another one that I like is um, where is give nicks. Give nicks is decent. I don't mind that. I'm just going to fill all these up with plays that I've seen before that, that I like. Um, 95th 1 3. So I'm just going to fill these up with random ones now because I'm not 100% sure what all the other ones were that I like. But there's a heap of plays. And um, in another video, I'll show you how you can practice all your plays. Um, but so as you can see now here in the favorite play section, I've got quick isolation, quick piston snap, quick nicks, give nicks, and then the other four underneath. Um, now, sometimes this saves, okay? Other times it doesn't. So before I make any moves, or before I go and play a game online or a game against computer, domination or whatever, I like to go and make sure it's stuck. Because, yeah, sometimes it doesn't stick. So I could back out of this, go into a game, and then I go to run my plays and they're not there. So the way that I double check to make sure that they're there, and if they're not there, I'll show you how to fix it. Uh, so I back all the way out of here. I right bumper over to home, go down to training hub, and then you want to go across to scrimmage. Okay, that'll give you a 5v5 game where it's just you're just practicing playing the game basically. So uh, I'll bring up my squad here that I had. Now, one thing you can do before you go in is edit lineup, go over to coaching, coach game plan, and just double check that they're all there. So you can see there, they're there, but that sometimes that still doesn't save. Sometimes that still doesn't save. You've got to actually go into the scrimmage, which is stupid that this is even a goddamn thing. It shouldn't have to be a thing that we have to do. Once you set it, it should be set. Okay, so say we get the jump ball. Now, once we're here, okay, I've got a set so plays automatically run, but I don't want them plays. Okay, I hit left bumper, and as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, sorry, not left bumper, you hit left on your D pad. On the right hand side of your screen, my favorite plays, they're not there. Okay, so that's no good. So, what we have to do uh, to fix the fact that it didn't change is go push start, go to game plan, go to offensive settings. Now, if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll see play selection. And as you can see, there's no plays there. I don't know why it doesn't save from there over into a game. It's because 2K are bad at the coding or they just don't care enough about this section of the game. But you can set them here. So like I said, I like quick isolation, but we're going to change this one here. We're going to go down. Here are all the same plays as before. Quick piston snap. Um, give nicks. I'm just going to add in a few here. Uh, quick nicks too and quick nicks so there we go i've got a few plays there set once i come out of the menus and i push left bumper now they're there so let's run quick piston snap real quick 
I can't, so it's, we pass the ball across here. I can't really remember. We go into the post, the high post. No, it wants me to pass it back out. Then we get an open shot. So obviously that's not a detailed breakdown of the play, but as you can see, my plays were set, they were there. Now this is a good way to practice just playing the game within the flow of what a real game might feel like. Uh, where you can just run your plays. So I like to call my plays in the back court. So right here, so I'll push left on the D-pad. This time I want to do give nicks. So as you can see, it's set up for give nicks, which is Donovan Mitchell to cat. And then Donovan Mitchell just runs around and we might get a layup there. There's also a screen from Donovan Mitchell. There's a lot, we're not really dissecting plays right now. This is just me showing you how to set it. Now, to double check that they're set, we quit the game. And like I said before, it's so stupid. This is what you have to do. But um, this is what works for me. If it works, if this isn't what works for you and it worked out just like by setting them normally, great. That's awesome. But for me, this is what I have to do. So now if I go back over here to lineup management, my grind squad, I check my coaching, coach game plan, and then my plays are still all there. So that means that now they're set or they should be set. So once I go into a game, uh, they should be there. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go into a game and just double check before we finish the video. Make sure they're there. So make sure that I'm not throwing you guys off. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that right now. Okay, so here we are. We're in a game. I'm just going to go over to game plan, offensive settings. I'm going to check that my plays are all the same. As you can see on the side, they're there. So they should be saved now for my team, the grind squad, the one that I set up. Let's just run a little play here and just double check. So yeah, we'll run quick piss and snap again. So this here, there's a fair bit of action out of this. Like you can attack from anywhere, but the double down screen here for Donovan Mitchell coming up is great. Always gets you, usually always gets you an open shot. But as you can see, so that there, I know it's a big like convoluted mess about how you have to get from here to here to here to here, but I really do think it's worth it uh, if you want to run plays. Um, if you don't like running plays, fine, let's just do it. Um, then you don't have to, but uh, for me, I do like running plays, and that's what I feel like I want to do. So that's okay, how you so that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we will have another video about uh, how to run plays and how to practice your plays. But um, yeah, that was just a quick little video to set you guys up on um, the road to being better um, at your offense on 2K. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.